do not get scammed. A neighbor had a man come to the door, knocked on the door, and told him his phone was messed up. Could he use his phone? So he come in to use his cell phone. Then he said, hey, listen, I, I've been sleeping in my car. I, I'm, I'm going to Kansas, and uh, I want to move up there with my sister. And, uh, do you mind if I lay down on your couch and take me a nap? I've been sleeping in that car, and I am so cramped and tired. Listen, I'll, I'll just take a nap, and I'll get up and leave. Well, he lays down on the nap. Then he wakes up and goes in there and says, Hey, is there any way you can make me a sandwich? I am so hungry, and I'm going to leave. Well, he made him a sandwich, gave the sandwich to him. Well, a man went in the living room, turned his television on, sat down in front of that and said, Hey, do you have anything to drink? The man said, All I got is insurance. He said, That's all I can drink. I got some tea. And the man said, I'll take a glass of tea. Well, he had to bring him a glass of tea. And then the man said, No, I want sugar in it. So he had to take it back to the kitchen, put tea in it, come back in there. Well, to make a long story short... The man had to call the police. Police came back out. Well, they came out. And when they got there, the man told him, no, he told me I could come in there. And the officer said, did you give him permission? He said, well, yeah, to use my phone, that's all. He said, well, sir, uh, this is a civil matter. Uh, uh, the only thing I can tell you is call the manager of the apartment. Well, he called the manager of the apartment and she told him, that's your problem. You take care of it. But if you have somebody else living in your one-bedroom apartment with you there, we're going to have to go up on your rent. So the man went in there and the man stayed. The man wouldn't leave. The next day, the man called the police again. He came back out. Police officer did. Same officer and told him, Sir, I told you this is a civil matter. To make a long story short, this senior got a hold of his daughter. She helped him find another apartment. And he had them all come in there, and they moved all of his furniture out. And that man staying in that apartment, in an empty apartment, no furniture, no nothing. And he's in there. So he called the manager, the managers called the police, and it's something about squat. I don't know, some kind of a squat rights or something like that. Squatter rights. So, listen, don't be scammed. Beware. Somebody wants to use your phone, you tell them, hey, uh, my phone's not working or whatever. Don't let them in your house. Don't let them in your apartment. Don't be scammed. Close your door on them and lock it and don't answer it. But I just wanted to share that with you. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. But everybody needs to know. You just can't trust people anymore. Isn't that sad? How people want to take advantage of others. Listen, I'll see you on the next video. This is Grandpa Hickory saying goodbye from Texas. Bye for now.